Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my favourite progressive rock songs. This is a follow up to my favourite progressive rock epics video that I did um, a few months ago now. And in that video, I talked about prog songs that were over 15 minutes, so epics. And in this video, I'm going to talk about songs that are under 15 minutes, effectively. I narrowed it down to 10 of my favourites, and this was extremely hard because there are so, so many amazing songs to choose from. But I would say that these are the ones I listen to the most often and ones that I just couldn't not include in this video. So let me know what you think of my choices in the comments below. Leave me any suggestions. And I've also limited myself to one song per artist. Otherwise, this video would quite literally be Porcupine Tree's entire discography. And that would be a very boring video. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your favourite prog songs under 15 minutes in the comments. And sorry about the quality and the fact that I'm in my bedroom again. I've, my camera is broken. Someone lend me £500 for a new one. Thanks. First up, we're kicking things off with an absolute classic. I would be surprised if this isn't on your list. It is Starless by King Crimson. So obvious, literally such an obvious pick, but I just could not get through this video without talking about it. It's one of the most well-loved songs in the prog community and I absolutely adore this song as well, of course. It's so beautiful. It's got such a haunting atmosphere, recurring melodies, actually kind of simplistic, but works really, really well. I love the vocals a lot, but I think it really just is the instrumentation of this song that make it so amazing. The opening section, oh my God, so gorgeous, so relaxing. And then in the middle and towards the end, there's this really like minimalistic but really like funky section and then the way the song concludes is just my favorite thing ever it's the melody from the start but just like way more epic and it's just insane like just what a way to close an album literally the way they use the melody from the start but this time accompanied with like drums bass brass instruments it just blows me away every single time i hear it so next up, second choice is another one that's fairly well known, but again, it's just one that I absolutely had to include. The first time I heard this song, I was genuinely like blown away. I was hooked straight away. I thought it was unbelievable. And it is The Musical Box by Genesis. Now you will probably know Nursery Crime is one of my favorite albums of all time. I always talk about it on this channel. And this for me, aside from Supper's Ready is Genesis masterpiece. I genuinely wish this song was longer. Like it takes you on such a journey. There's these just amazing, gorgeous little sections and things scattered throughout the song. I'll show you a few of my favorite bits. I've, I've wrote down little sections to show you and I was gonna do it on my phone, but because I'm filming on my phone, we've got the next best option here. I feel like with prog, it's really beneficial when you're talking about it to show little sections of songs because these songs are pretty long and sometimes you forget what you're talking about. So here is some of my favourite little bits of the musical box. First up is this. So subtle but just so gorgeous. And then how this bit just builds so nicely. Again, can't really describe it so I'm going to show you. And then the way the song ends is just like an explosion of sounds and it's truly incredible and you really just have to think how old the members of Genesis were when this song came out. Like it doesn't make sense how they were able to come up with something and I can't even put the washing machine on properly. So next up is one that most people wouldn't really consider a prog song I guess but this is me and I am not prepared to do a whole video without talking about Nine Inch Nails so they're gonna have to make their way into this video somehow. And maybe some people might disagree with me, but I think that Just Like You Imagined by Nine Inch Nails is absolutely a prog song. It's not your like typical, you know, classic prog like Genesis, yes, whatever. If you haven't heard it, then pause this video, go and listen to it, then go and watch it being performed live, then come back to this video. And if you still think it's not a progressive song, then you can comment down below and tell me that. 
But this is really, it's an instrumental song and it really is one of the greatest compositions I've ever heard in my life. Honestly, no exceptions. As with all Nine Inch Nails songs, the production and the sound quality is just absolutely out of this world. It's really crazy to me that a song with no lyrics can be so powerful. Like this song is so well thought out. It evokes so many different emotions when you listen to it. It's just incredible. And I love how it's quite a loud, noisy song, but there's this like beautiful piano and the piano kind of becomes like the main character of the song. And I just love how it's constantly building to this crescendo where all the instruments come in. Let me show you this bit right now. <laughs> to see how anyone could dislike this song. Trent, you are an absolute genius. My next choice is a song that even I'm sick of talking about at this point because I mention it so often. It's Way Out of Here by Porcupine Tree. I, I adore this song. I adore the album that this song comes from. It was one of the first Porcupine Tree songs I ever heard and it stopped me dead in my tracks and I had to put it on repeat for the next six months. I remember listening to the chorus and being like, mm what the hell am i listening to it's genuinely one of the best choruses i've ever heard genuinely so catchy but so haunting and of course it's a prog song so the instruments completely steal the show that build up to the first chorus is literally insane it gives me goosebumps every single time i hear it and then the way that the chorus just comes crashing in like wow and i'll keep it short and sweet because i have literally spoken about this song to death but i think it may have Maybe my favourite Stephen Wilson guitar solo, the one just after the second chorus. I'll play a bit. Oh God, I love that song so, so, so much. So for my fifth pick, I'm going to talk about Lady Fantasy by Camel. I really love Camel. They're such a great band and Mirage, I've spoken about Mirage in my top 10 progressive rock albums and it really is just an incredible album. And I think Lady Fantasy is probably the best song on that album in my opinion. I love how it sounds like very 70s. Obviously this album came out in the 70s, but it's also like hasn't aged a day. Like it's really modern. Camel have got just such a unique sound, like Andy Latimer's guitar tone is just beautiful. And then I love the guitar melody that comes in like just after the first section of vocals. Like it just puts me in such a good mood, honestly, like this little section, love it. <laughs> And each section moves like so seamlessly into the next. Like this song is such an experience. Honestly, can't like, get enough of this one. And then the last two minutes are absolutely insane. Like for me, this is up there with Starless by King Crimson and Starship Trooper by Yes as having the best like climax to any prog song ever. I love how, again, the melody from the start like returns again at the end, but way more epic with loads more instruments involved, much more layered, kind of the same way that it does in Starless. And yeah, just love that. Next up is a song that sometimes causes debate as to whether it's a prog song or not. I personally think it is, obviously, that's why it's on this list. But prog song or not, I think we can all agree that this song is incredible and it is I Am The Walrus by The Beatles. It's one of the best Beatles songs ever, in my opinion. I personally always seen this song and the album Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band as some of the first progressive rock music. Pink Floyd were referencing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds in their song Let There Be More Light. Robert Fripp has said multiple times how much he loves Sgt Pepper's. Bill Bruford was quoted as saying, uh, he said something like, without the Beatles I think it's fair to say there would be no progressive rock. I mean I'm going on a tangent here because I Am The Walrus isn't even on Sgt Pepper's but you know what I mean. I just think it's so creative so unique, psychedelic. And yeah, I feel like I don't really need to say too much about this one because if you haven't heard this song and you're watching this video, then what's going on? So for my seventh pick, I'm gonna talk about the song Working All Day by Gentle Giant. One of the most underrated prog bands, we know that. But I think this is one of their most underrated songs as well. Like I do not hear enough people talking about this and it is a bop. Such a bloody good song and I love the lyrics as well. I don't know why, this is a really niche interest, but I'm really into those kind of like songs about like 
working and like boring everyday life i guess i love the lyric like, easy to say that everybody's equal then turn around and see it's not true the vocal delivery is great but as with all gentle giant songs there are some really subtle like bits in the song that just make it so addictive first of all there's this little tiny little subtlety here just before the second verse that i am absolutely obsessed with <laughs> Oh, love that. Love that so much. And then there's this little bit of bass, which is hands down my favourite part in the whole song. It's so addictive. It's one of those that like, you don't hear it on the first listen, but it's just so good. Just this bit now. <laughs> So good in headphones, just such an amazing song. Chef's Kiss, love you Gentle Giant, love that album, love that song. Anyway, my eighth pick is potentially my favourite from this list. I adore this song, I listen to it every day, it's like my morning ritual. Get up, brush teeth, listen to Luminol by Stephen Wilson. Literally again, one of those songs that like blew me away the first time I heard it, I was like, whoa! That opening bass line. Literally, as soon as I heard that, I was like, right, okay, cool. This is the best song I've ever heard. When I got a subwoofer for my record player downstairs, this was the second or first or second song that I played on it just to test out the bass. And I put it at full volume because you literally, you literally just can't not with this song. Everything about it is great, but I've always said that Stephen Wilson manages to surround himself with like the best musicians that always manage to bring his visions to life and this song is such a great example of that it's so well thought out there's a lot going on and obviously i have a favorite part to show you it's this little section here i just love the way like the guitars come crashing into the song just listen to the way everything is just chilling like calm collected whatever and then every instrument in the world just comes into the song and i'm just like whoa <laughs> like what is that a joke okay so for my ninth choice it's finally time to talk about the goat pink floyd one of my favorite bands of all time one of your favorite bands of all time probably just amazing and i'm gonna talk about the song alan's psychedelic breakfast obviously literally so many songs i could have chosen but i've been listening to a lot of atom heart mother recently so this one has been like on my mind it's so unique so interesting kind of underrated in the floyd catalog don't even know how to describe this song it's one that you just need to listen to really it's got this really like jolly kind of uplifting piano section towards the start which i love it's got lots of sound effects um all that kind of stuff and then the middle section is really like mellow and relaxing and it's just absolutely beautiful and then it picks up again for the final section and you can hear like all these like breakfast items being spoken about in the background it's just very like charming it's very floyd only they could pull something like that off so my final pick for this video it's gonna have to be the song i don't know how you really say it but like yyz by rush how do i even how do i even put this song into words the that guitar riff crazy 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 good and obviously this is another instrumental song if you couldn't tell i love instrumental songs especially instrumental songs by rush because the standard of musicianship is obviously so high i say it all the time but the fact that there's three people in this band is crazy to me i also love all the live performances of this song it just seems like such a fun time like such a good song to see live geddy's always smiling and happy it just looks amazing i would have loved to have been able to see this song live that just imagine <laughs> Anyway, that is my top 10 favourite progressive rock songs under 15 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed the video. My next video is going to be another top 10 songs video. So please subscribe so you don't miss that. Please follow my Instagram because I'm really active on there. It's Mary Loves Music underscore. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave me your suggestions in the comments. Don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you for watching. See you next time.